Hi. In this session, we are going to learn evaluating expressions using inspect, execute, and watch. Inspect and execute, these two are a bit similar. So I'm going to discuss about inspect and execute together first. And after that, we are going to learn another very useful and interesting debugging feature of Eclipse called watch. So to start with inspect and execute, let's go to Eclipse. Open a program called debugcalculator.java. Inside debug calculator's main method, uh, there are a few lines of code. Let me explain them a bit. At line number seven, integer i is declared with a value of 20. In the next line, integer j is declared with, sorry, integer i was declared with 10 and integer j is declared with the value of 20. At line number nine, i is incremented by one. At line number 10, j is decremented by one. So up to this, it's pretty simple. At line number 12, new integer variable result one receives one value from the add method of calculator util. And at very next line, line number 13, its value is printed using a sysout. Similarly, at line number 14, result two uh, receives uh, the value from subtract method of calculator util. And similarly, at line number 15, the value of result two is printed. So up to this, it's pretty simple. Now let's have a look at the methods of calculator util uh, in bit depth. So let me go to add, control click. As we can see over here, calculator util has different static methods. The add method takes number one and number two, num one and num two actually, and it adds them. And finally, the value of sum is returned. And before returning the sum, here is a sysout. Similarly, there is a subtract method which subtracts number two, num two from number one. And finally, the result is returned. So this is the logic of calculate utils, add method and subtract method. Now let's come back to this method and place a breakpoint at line number nine and run this in debug mode. Right click, debug as Java application. Now let's come to the feature inspect and execute how we can use them as you can see over here the breakpoint is hit and we need to inspect the value of i say so for example i have to inspect i i mean in the variables view we can easily get i but just for test purpose we can inspect a value or an expression i mean we can inspect a variable or an expression so if I need to inspect I over here, I can do, I can select I, right click, and then inspect, that is Control Shift I. The I is shown here. Now say I want to inspect one expression, so I can select this I plus one, right click, inspect. I plus one is 11. It is shown here. Now, another interesting thing, say the control has not moved to line number 12 yet, but I want to inspect the outcome of this particular method. So if I click, if I select this particular method and right click, inspect, it shows me the result, 30. So that's where it becomes uh, so interesting, the inspect feature as you can see in the console the first i mean the uh, the parameters and the summation is printed as a method got executed so we can evaluate inspect any variable or any expression whatever but 
we need to be very sure like the expression that we are using say for example I'm here inspecting calculator dot add and I'm passing ing ing should be declared somewhere say the debug point is at line number eight and I'm trying to inspect the add method here then there will be errors let me explain what would be the problem let me terminate this place a breakpoint at line number eight and run it again in debug mode so here i is defined but the control is at line number eight so j is undefined now if i try to inspect this particular expression so select right click inspect j cannot be resolved to a variable because j is not declared yet so this is one thing we need to keep in mind now let me execute this line using step over now I'm trying to inspect this expression right click inspect it would work fine so that was my point now inspect we understood how we can use there is another very similar feature called uh, execute execute only executes the expression that we have selected say here I have calculated dot add ing and if I right click and execute this method would be invoked so that we can see uh, some 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 output in the console but no value will be returned so let me click on execute as you can see in the console the line is printed means calculator util dot add is invoked but the value that is returned that is 30 we cannot see the value while we are using execute so personally I feel um, although execute and inspect are similar but inspect is a superset of execute and execute is not that much handy handy compared to inspect so we have covered inspect and execute and let's discuss the feature uh, called watch now watch is a feature which uh, is quite handy when we want to evaluate any particular expression now using watch we can create custom expressions which we can evaluate during program execution in debug mode now to watch a particular expression what we need to do we can do right click sorry the code we can do right click and select watch if we select watch uh, this particular expressions view would come earlier I have added one expression I plus J so let me remove this and let me remove all actually yes so I'm adding a new expression over here that is I star J as I is 20 let's let's go to variables view that's I is 20 uh, I is 10 and J is 20 so I into J should be 200 so it is shown here now let me execute this line so that I is incremented by one step over so I is now 11 and this is 20 so it should be 220 uh, let me decrease uh, J by one step over see this expression is getting changed to 209 so this is the utility of watch you can add many custom expressions over here you can add you I plus J and accordingly the value of this particular expression would be shown over here but one thing we need to uh, keep in mind if the context of the execution changes then this 
values may be no longer valid. For example, we are inside Duo calculator and our value of i and j is significant. But let me step into this add method and the context will change and nobody would understand what is i and j then. So if I do a step into and I'm inside calculator util now, as you can see over here, the values are not shown, errors are here. But if the method execution is uh, done and if we return, then this values would be shown properly. So let me do a step return. Again, the expressions are back and they're shown properly. So this is the beauty of uh, watch expressions uh, where we can create our custom expressions and we can check their values during program execution at different places. So in this session so far we have learned inspect, execute and finally watch. So that's all for now for this session. Thank you.